I've said this many times and I keep saying it because it's what it is that it's all me. I only experience myself. I only experience what I make it myself. So I can make anything out of everything and I can make everything out of anything. It's all what I make it. So what's in my awareness is what I sense around me and really what's around me is empty. It's not, it doesn't mean anything until I assign the meaning. So the wall, the color of the wall, it is just the color of the wall. It's, it's nothing. If it, I decide that it's beautiful, then the color of the walls in this room is beautiful. But I decide it's beautiful. So I gave the meaning for this color to be beautiful in my reality, in my awareness. So same way, I assign meaning to everything around me, everything that's happening in the 3D. And um, same thing with my inner world. Um, I can make anything out of everything and I can make everything out of anything. So in my awareness, what is there is there and I can decide what is there. So my awareness, it's basically what I put my focus on, what I put my attention on, what I choose to think. I really have, you know, sometimes it's more difficult than others, but I ultimately can control my thoughts. I can decide where I put my attention on. So I can decide what I keep and what I don't keep in my awareness. And even in my mind, sometimes I, or quite often actually, I get thoughts that pop up unconsciously. They just pop up out of somewhere. I didn't choose them um, like deliberately. I didn't choose them consciously, but they just come up. Even then, I have the power to assign any meaning to them. I can, I can assign, you know, if it's something that, uh, for example, I remember that happened in the past, I can decide that, no, that's, that's weird that these kind of fictional stories come up. Or I can decide that, oh, look at that. You, yeah, that's right. That happened. But it's, it's so, it feels so strange, so foreign, because I'm like so far from, I've, I've come so far. I can assign meaning to each thought as well like especially those thoughts that come up un unconsciously like seem to come up out of nowhere or if some um, <clears throat> kind of ne negative associations come up based on something that's happening I can even switch those to mean something favorable so, you know, when you think it like this, you realize how powerful you are. We are all really powerful. We really, really, really have like the whole thing in our hands. Like the world is just squeaking in our hands. Our whole reality is just like, we are the one once on the pedestal in our own realities. And we decide what is what. We give meaning to everything. We decide what what is what. And it's a really fun way to look at it. And I, if it feels like that you are kind of pulled down to the, the drama of the 3D, it's also a good idea to remind yourself who you really are. That I am an eternal being having this human experience and having fun as a human being. 
playing the game of life. This is my game. This is my game. This is my game. I, I decide what is what. And I decide what I want to experience. And I can give more of those experiences to myself all day, every day. And, um, and that's how, that's how life is basically magical. Um, so yeah, I think that's kind of what I wanted to say that you have the power to make anything out of everything and everything out of anything. It's all you. You assign the meaning to everything. You decide what you want to experience and you can give those experiences to yourself all day, every day. Um, don't take things too seriously. Don't let the 3D to suck you down in its swirls because it's, it's all fluid. You make it what it is. Your reality is your reality. My reality is my reality. And my reality is kind of like my canvas. I make it what I want it to be. So... Take care. Talk soon.